This is one of the most challenging, difficult, joyful, awesome, wonderful experiences that I've ever gone through. When I lay down and I'm when I pass away, these things will have made me who I am. Cancer, the back injury, the adoption, and a few others. The adoption was approximately, started approximately nine years ago. My daughter had had a difficult situation called date rape. And she found out that she was pregnant. And she just, she had, she invited us to go to the local pizza place and we sat down. And she presented to us a letter that she was, of her situation and that she was going to place a child for adoption. And it was so powerful and so difficult. I didn't have a lot of words and I didn't know what to say. I came home, I knelt at my bed, and I prayed that we would help the very best we could with my daughter to place this child for adoption, to save this little child's life, and that a family would be blessed for it. Well, it was a difficult nine months, seven to nine months. Our first grandchild being adopted out. Was to be, it was to be a, a daughter, a girl, a female. And in my mind, the strongest feeling I had was I want to be able to help my daughter as much as possible through this difficult situation, and be supportive of her, and then understand adoption with, and then and then save this baby's life and and help help this baby get a find a, a new good family. She, my daughter searched and searched many many families over the internet through LDS services. There were three families that she felt impressed that she would place the, the child for adoption to. <clears throat> One of the requirements was that she wanted to, she wanted the other children in the family to be also be adopted. I won't tell you the names of some of the, the people, but the little child came and I was there when she was born. She's a beautiful, lovely little child. She stayed with my daughter for about three or four days where my daughter was able to nurse her, hold her, take care of her. And then <coughs> the family that was going to adopt this little girl had come for Christmas a few months earlier where my daughter gave them a gift and said in that gift that I will also give you this this gift but I'm going to also give you the gift of a child and committed right then to giving that child or placing that child this young girl for adoption to this family they were elated the mom came or the the uh, adoptive mom came to the <coughs> hospital was there when my daughter gave birth to the little the little girl. I was there, my wife was there, and her favorite brother was there. This this baby was beautiful. She only spent a short amount of time with her. And then the day came when we were to take the little girl down to be adopted to this family. I want to rewind just a little bit. The day after the birth, the mother, the adoptive mother called me and said, I am really missing this little child, this little girl, this newborn child. I'm not going to tell you her name, but I said to her, I said to the birth mom, my daughter will feel like she's missing her and want to see her one of these days. So I hope you remember this feeling, this feeling of you want to see her again. She is your child. She is going to be your adopted child. 
but remember the gift that my daughter is giving you through this adoption process to your family. And remember and be sensitive of how you feel right now. Remember that that's how my daughter is going to feel many times. And that's how we're going to feel many times in the future. We'll want to see this little girl because we want to be a part of her life in a nice way, in a respectful way. So she, that impressed upon her that feeling. Well, at the, at the placement of the adoption, I've never in my life, ever in my life, felt such joy for the family that was receiving this young child and such pain and sorrow and difficulty for my daughter and us, primarily for my daughter, of placing that child for adoption to that family. It was one of the most powerful moments I've ever experienced. The birth, I'm sorry, the, the adoptive father gave my daughter a blessing, a priesthood blessing. It was the most beautiful priesthood, priesthood blessing I have ever heard. It was a very special time. So keeping it simple, it was the most beautiful, beautiful thing I've ever witnessed and the most difficult thing I've ever witnessed all at once. I often ask them, because it's an open adoption and we see her quite often, I often ask the family and the girls, who's the most famous adoptive person you know? And they're like, I don't know, you know, they'll say a few different names and I tell them, Jesus Christ is the, fam the most famous adoptive person you've ever met or I, I, that, you're, that you ever know of and his father Joseph adopted him. So adoption is an important thing. It's a wonderful blessing. And I'm here to witness that adoption is a true principle and it's an important part of society. There are gonna be difficult things. There are gonna be births when, whether they be accidental, intentional, through, through rape, whatever the case may be, there are children that are going to be born in this er, on this earth that need good adoptive families. And so, it, even though it was very difficult, it's been 20 times greater than, the, than at first. We've been able to be a part of their, this, this little girl's life. Um, we see them once a month, once every other couple months, but they are very special to me. Her and her other adoptive sisters are just like my grandchildren. I love them with all my heart. They are precious and they feel to me, even I'm even more connected with this family than I am the other extended family members of my family <clears throat> in terms of, not my children, but my wife's family and our, my, my other uh, extended family. Adoption has been one of the most difficult yet most awesome, powerful experience and wonderful experience that I've ever experienced. It has made me a better person and it also is very helpful to me to understand that we can be responsible with lives that we create and take care of them. Abortion is not an option. In very few cases, in some cases I'm sure that it is, but in most cases adoption is a great, a great solution to difficult circumstances.